One sliver of gold etched with a famous name carried whispers of a $5 million value. Legends swirled around it, with some even claiming it could grant instant American citizenship. Whether myth or reality, the story illustrates a timeless truth. Gold has always been more than mere metal. It is ambition made tangible, power that can be worn. The gleam of gold appears throughout the highest echelons of luxury, from the bodies of ostentatious supercars to delicate flakes dusting steaks that command thousands of dollars a plate. To feed this insatiable demand, more than 4,000 tons of gold are torn from the earth each year. Yet behind every polished surface lies a long and arduous journey. This odyssey begins deep within the earth, buried inside ancient stone, and concludes with gleaming bars of pure gold secured within fortified vaults. Our path leads us deep into the largest gold mine in the United States, to the very place where the first microscopic specks of gold are liberated from rock formed millions of years ago. Here, advanced technology transforms these minuscule fragments into lustrous bars of bullion, each one imbued with both tangible worth and profound symbolic weight. It is a transformation that mirrors the journey itself, from the crushing darkness of the subterranean world into the brilliant, dazzling light of status and fortune. It has adorned the powerful for millennia, yet it yields its secrets only to the most relentless. Its story is woven deep into our own, stretching back over 6,000 years to the Neolithic age. Even then, it was fashioned into jewelry, sacred artifacts, and treasures reserved for rulers and the elite. But gold's allure extends far beyond its radiant glow. It lies in its profound permanence. It is a metal that defies time, refusing to rust, fade, or corrode. In a world defined by constant change, gold remains an unwavering standard, a timeless emblem of power, prosperity, and trust. This precious metal is rarely found exposed on the Earth's surface. Instead, it lies hidden, locked away within ancient veins of quartz and layers of sediment compressed over millions of years. The slow, patient forces of wind and water gradually erode these formations, liberating minuscule particles that wash into rivers and streams. To uncover any significant deposit, however, requires immense effort, blasting through mountains and digging deep into the earth to reach the ore. Gold does not offer itself freely. It surrenders only to those willing to look far beneath the surface. Then in 1848, a few gleaming flakes discovered in a Californian stream ignited a fire that would reshape a nation. The news of this find sent a shockwave across the country, sparking an unprecedented frenzy. This single event triggered the most legendary gold rush of the 19th century as tens of thousands of people journeyed west. They abandoned cities and farms, driven by the singular, intoxicating hope of striking it rich. After millennia of extraction, the surface-level deposits have long been exhausted. The search now drives us deeper than ever before into strata of rock once considered unreachable. The scale of this modern effort is staggering. Miners must excavate and process between 30 to 50 tons of rock just to yield a single ounce of gold. Yet the industry shows no signs of slowing. Guided by GPS technology and armed with colossal machinery and advanced processing, operations now push hundreds of meters underground. As the risks and costs continue to climb, the enduring value of gold ensures the hunt will go on. The ground here bleeds red dust, but they are searching for a different color entirely. In the heart of Uganda, a nation said to be living on gold, the precious metal is not found in glittering storefronts. It lies buried beneath layers of earth, sweat in the suspended childhoods of an entire generation. Under a relentless sun, whole families, including children whose hands are better acquainted with tools than with pencils, lift rusted shovels. They follow their parents into the dry, unforgiving ground, driven by the hope of unearthing a few precious flakes. Surviving on barely a dollar a day, gold mining is not a choice, it is a lifeline. The true price of this gold is paid in the health of children who grow up breathing dust instead of dreams. Here, the riverbank serves as a classroom and a shovel becomes a child's only toy. For them, gold is not a symbol of wealth, but the only chance to see another day. The hunt begins as a slow, deliberate ritual, armed with a handheld metal detector and a keen sense of hearing. Miners pace slowly, 
their eyes locked on the ground, listening for the faint electronic pulse that signals something hidden below. Each beep brings a flicker of hope, a possibility that gold is waiting. Yet this is a science born of desperation, not luck. Experienced miners know to search near formations of quartz and slate, or in gullies where gold has previously washed through. Once a promising signal is found, the real ordeal begins. The earth swallows them whole, as shafts plunge tens of meters deep, carved out by hand with nothing more than shovels, pickaxes, and raw human strength. In some areas, tree trunks offer a fragile defense against collapse, but the risk is a constant, silent companion. Ropes are their only guide into the abyss. Deeper still, the passages narrow, forcing miners to crawl on their sides through suffocating darkness. With only the flicker of a headlamp to light the way, every hole is a gamble, a bet that might lead to nothing or reveal rocks worth a month's wages. The gold is not found in solid blocks, but as tiny scattered grains locked inside dusty stone, as if testing the limits of their patience. Pulled to the surface with basic pulley systems, heavy bags of earth are stacked in piles. Each one a lottery ticket awaiting its turn. The contents remain a mystery until the final stage of processing. The heavy sacks of earth, just hoisted from deep underground, begin their second journey. They are heaved onto a long conveyor, rattling noisily across steel rollers as they creep toward an enormous metal funnel. It waits like an open maw, ready to consume all that comes its way. Waves of grayish-brown rock and soil crash down, tumbling violently into the crusher's intake chute. Water is pumped in constantly, suppressing the dust and creating a thick, flowing slurry. As this mixture churns through the machine, the laws of physics take over. Heavier particles, including any gold, begin to settle while the lighter sediment is washed away. This marks the first true moment of a separation, but the most dangerous work is yet to come. From the crusher, the concentrated sediment is moved to another area, where a far more delicate and perilous phase begins. Here, workers introduce mercury. It is a known poison linked to cancer and severe neurological damage. Yet it remains the only affordable chemical available to dissolve the gold from its impurities. For 20 to 30 minutes, they knead this toxic mixture until it forms a gray, dough-like amalgam a fusion of gold and mercury born of pressure and desperation. This mass is then heated, causing the mercury to vaporize and vanish into the air, leaving behind the raw, unrefined gold. It is a devastatingly simple process, and its invisible cost is paid by the workers, especially the children, who inhale the fumes long before they can comprehend the risk. The final equation is staggering. To yield just 9.25 ounces of gold, worth roughly $10,400, requires excavating and processing over 19,000 tons of earth. And for the people who perform this backbreaking labor, their reward is often just one or two dollars for a day's work. It is a world of stark contrast, where one miner's daily wage is less than the cost of a single meal. But far from the hands-on toil seen elsewhere, gold mining in the United States has become a symphony of massive machinery and advanced technology, a method that boosts efficiency while reducing environmental strain. In the vast landscapes of Nevada, the journey to this precious metal looks profoundly different, a testament to what happens when innovation leads the charge. The process begins by piercing the earth, towering drill rigs mounted on heavy-duty trucks and bristling with hydraulic lines drive steel pipes deep into solid rock with incredible force and precision. These boreholes plunge to depths between 30 and 65 feet, preparing the ground for a dramatic transformation. Each hole is then carefully packed with high explosives. Technicians meticulously place and wire between 50 and 100 detonators across a single site, each one timed for a perfectly synchronized blast. When the moment arrives, the explosives are triggered all at once. Powerful concussions shake the area, sending thick clouds of smoke billowing into the air. This immense force tears through entire sections of the mountain, shattering massive rock formations into thousands of smaller fragments, making the gold within them far more accessible for the next stage. Once the colossal rock formations are broken, heavy-duty excavators move in. With each massive scoop, they gather the gold-bearing ore, 
and loaded onto an extensive conveyor belt system that runs along the edge of the mining site. This network is designed to operate continuously, transporting the raw material smoothly and efficiently from the blast zone to temporary storage without any interruption. The entire operation is closely monitored to maximize speed and minimize loss. From these sorted ore piles, large haul trucks are loaded, each capable of carrying dozens of tons in a single trip. These trucks then roll out in a steady procession, delivering their cargo to the refining facility. Inside the processing plant, the ore embarks on a new journey along fully automated conveyor belts, allowing for swift and seamless movement. Though each ton of rock holds barely 0.05% gold, just one gram hidden among thousands, this tiny trace is far from unreachable. With the help of cutting-edge refining technology, the plant isolates and extracts that microscopic speck of gold with remarkable precision. The ore is first fed into a massive ball mill. This giant machine is packed with tens of thousands of steel balls, each weighing anywhere from a few pounds to over 60 pounds, adding up to hundreds of tons of solid steel. As the mill spins, the balls tumble and crash down onto the ore, smashing it with tremendous force. This grinding process runs continuously for 20 to 30 minutes, pulverizing the rocks until they become a fine dust. At this point, extracting the gold becomes much easier and more efficient. Next, water is added to the crushed ore, turning it into a thick, paste-like slurry. This consistency makes it simpler to separate the gold from unwanted materials. The mixture is then carried along a network of conveyors and directed into large, open-air tanks. When the ore slurry is poured into these tanks, the extraction process kicks off with physical separation. Afterward, chemical agents like cyanide are added to dissolve any remaining gold, helping to separate it from the unwanted substances still mixed in with the ore. The resulting liquid solution is then pumped into an electrolytic cell, where a steady flow of direct current is passed through the gold-bearing solution. Inside the tank, gold ions move toward the negative electrode and gradually settle as a solid layer of pure metal, sticking tightly to the surface. This entire process takes place under carefully controlled conditions to ensure the gold that forms is nearly 100% pure. After electrolysis, the separated gold goes through a high temperature smelting stage, reaching around 1200 degrees Celsius. The purpose of this step is to completely eliminate any remaining impurities while turning the gold into a liquid state, making it easier to pour into molds. Smelting also helps make the gold softer and more uniform, creating the ideal conditions for shaping it into bars. The gold bars slowly take shape after being poured into molds and left to cool gradually in the open air. Once solid, the metal becomes hard and shiny, with a clean, squared-off look that defines a standard commercial gold bar. Next, the gold is placed on a scale to determine its exact weight. On average, each gold bar weighs between 1 and 2 kilograms and contains about 99.99% pure gold, with less than 0.01% of residual metal impurities. After the gold is weighed and inspected, it goes through a cleaning process using a mild acid solution. This step helps remove impurities like heavy metals and leftover compounds from the smelting process, dissolving them without affecting the pure gold. The pure gold bars are then transported to major U.S. banks, including the Federal Reserve, where they are stored in high-security vaults under the watch of professional security personnel. Here, the gold is carefully preserved, playing a critical role in maintaining the nation's financial reserves with maximum safety and absolute confidentiality. From a vault of solid bars, a transformation begins, a journey from raw weight to ethereal lightness. Refined ingots of pure gold are transported to specialized manufacturing facilities, where the metal is first reheated in high-temperature furnaces. This process makes the gold soft and malleable, preparing it to be shaped with ease. Once it achieves the desired flexibility, the glowing metal is fed through powerful rolling machines. Under intense pressure, it is flattened and stretched into long, thin strips or drawn into delicate threads as fine as silk. These fine golden filaments are then guided into a specialized chain-making machine. Here, they are precisely coiled and formed into countless small uniform links. Each link is then carefully assembled, either by the steady hand of an artisan or by automated tools, creating a single continuous gold chain. 
The resulting chains can vary dramatically in design, from sleek and delicate to bold and eye-catching, tailored to a wide spectrum of tastes. After assembly, the chains move through a thorough polishing process, which imparts a bright, smooth finish and a brilliant shine. Before the final stage where gemstones or pendants might be added, every single gold thread and finished chain undergoes a detailed visual inspection. This ensures they meet the strictest quality standards. Only the flawless pieces that pass this scrutiny are packaged and sent onward to the market. From the heart of one continent to the markets of another, a single element is transformed. This journey has taken us across oceans, from the rich soils of Africa to the bustling economies of the Americas, revealing the complex alchemy that brings gold into existence. Perhaps now the word itself feels heavier, imbued with a significance that transcends its simple gleam. The path from raw earth to polished treasure is a story etched into every ounce. This deeper understanding of what lies behind the luster is merely one thread in a much larger tapestry. Countless other stories, just as fascinating and unexpected, are still waiting to be unraveled.